Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your bar-inspired cardio workout. Today's workout, no jumping, low impact, all standing. So since it is all standing, there will be more of a focus on lower body. What you need today, absolutely nothing because it is body weight only. You can have an optional mat if you don't have shoes on, and then you may want a water and towel around just as an optional thing to have around. Here's today's format. After a quick three minute warm up, every exercise will be 40 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Now during the 10 seconds off, you have three different options today. You can fully recover to make it more of a hit style. You can also tap side to side during the recovery time to keep the heart rate elevated. That is what you'll see me do today. In option three, you can also pulse in a sumo squat position if you want to make it more of an endurance strength focused type of workout. Ultimately, the decision is up to you. This is your workout, so make it your own. Fully recover, tap side to side, sumo squat pulses, or do a combination of all three. We are moving to approximately 128 beats per minute. I will be dubbing music over top of what I am listening to. So at times the beat may be a little bit off, but I'll do my best in the editing process to match it really good. So grab what you need, if anything at all, and let's get going. We begin your workout today with overhead reaches. This is just our warm up, just warming up the body in three, two, and one. Take those reaches in front, 30 seconds. Second position reaches, let's go. Side to side, back pedal the arms. You're so different, kind of ignorant. You don't care what people say, people say, people say. I'm going crazy for you, baby. Don't know how you're making me feel this way. What can I say? That's what I like about you. Keep the side step, switch the arms, bring it forward. Final warm up, hip circle to first position. Out and down. Last three, two, and one. Nice work. Inhale up. Exhale, side reach. Inhale up. Exhale, side reach. Tap side to side. We begin your workout. We begin your workout with two taps, two, uh, two sumo squat pulses. Follow my lead. Hands will go out to the side. Let's go.
two, tap side to side. Next up, we have a side to side sumo squat or second position. Pull down the arms. Let's go. side to side. Next up, we have a tap jack to two abductions. Let's go. side. Next up, we have a side reach to two butt kicks at a bicep curl with the arms. Just tap. Second position to first position. We alternate. It's out, then in. Out, then in. Out, then in at the arm. One, just tap. Second position or sumo squat. We take it to an eternal rotation. Arms go out. We rotate in, then out. In, then out. Pull with the arms. Pull. Pull. To see the lights fade away into the night. Cause you and I live day by day As time goes by, it's the prize we pay Just close your eyes And we will rise At the speed of sound We're leaving Last three, right two, and one, just tap Next up, we have a reverse lunge to a kick We'll start with the left leg. We go a lunge, kick, return to center. Lunge, kick, return to center. Lunge, kick, return to center. Add the arms if you can. Keep your spine neutral. Don't over arch at the lumbar spine. Three, 
to just tap side to side. Other side is next. Reverse lunge to a kick. Right leg ground. Hands go up, down, kick, return to center. Down, kick, return to center. Add the arms if you can. Think about making one nice long line with the body. And one, just tap side to side. Next up, side shuffle with a knee in. Let's go. Feel the lower abs, draw that knee in. Last three, two, one, just tap. Curtsy lunge to abduction. Round with the left leg first. Curtsy lunge, abduct. Curtsy lunge, abduct if you can. We'll add the hands. And one, just tap. Other side is next. Ground with the right leg. Let's go, lunge, abduct. Hands go out to the side. Add the arms. Three, two, and one. Tap side to side. Forward back shuffle is next. We'll add two pulse squats in between. Take it up. Pulse for two. Take it back. Pulse for two. Last three, two, just tap side to side. Next up, we have a knee in to a 45 degree kickback. Left leg takes the knee in, right leg kicks it back. It's in, then kick. 45 degrees with your kickback. So I want you to feel it in that glute medius or upper outer portion of the glute. Keep the core tight, keep that spine still. We don't want to feel it in the low back, and if you have movement in the spine or your pelvis starts to dip forward, you'll feel it in the low back versus if you keep your spine still and lift from that glute. Three, 
three, two, and one. Just tap. Other side is coming your way next. Start the knee in with the right in three, two, and one. Slight forward lean. And one, just tap side to side. Side shuffle with a kickback is next, 45 degrees. And one, just tap side to side. Next up, we have a knee into a twist. Let's go. Tap left, right, left, right. Two, just tap side to side. Other side is next. Let's go. One, just tap side to side. Step behind butt kicks are next. Let's go. Three, two, one, kick four. Three, two, one, kick four. And one, just tap side to side. Next up, we have a curtsy lunge to oblique crunch. We'll start slow to start. Ground with the left. Let's go. Curtsy lunge, oblique crunch. We start with the tap. If you can, get rid of the tap. Curtsy, crunch, curtsy, crunch. Last 
last three, two, and one. Just tap side to side. Other side is next. We ground with the right. Start slow. It's curtsy and crunch. Curtsy. If you did it on the other side, let's go. two just tap side to side next up we have a side shuffle to two knee ends and three two and one two just tap side to side squat twist lunge twist we're gonna ground with your left leg first back twist side twist back twist side twist back twist towards that bent knee Engage the lower abdominals when that knee comes in. Think about keeping your rib cage stacked over your pelvis. Three, two, one, tap side to side. Next up, other side. Ground with the right. And one, just tap. All right, forward reaches to overhead reaches. Two of each. Forward, overhead, forward, overhead. two just tap side to side side repeaters to two abductions we start with the left
two, and one just tap side to side. Other side's coming up next. We start with the right leg. Let's go. Get the legs down first, then add the arms. Two, and one, tap side to side. All right, y'all, we have another side shuffle. This time, arms go overhead with the knee in. If you can, get on that tippy toe. Three, two, and one. Just tap side to side. Next up, we have a lateral lunge to knee in. Left leg's gonna move. Let's go. Out, then in. Add the twist at the top, like you're pulling a rope. Inch from the hips, keep a neutral spine. Don't let that low back dip forward. Don't let your pelvis tilt forward or tuck under. Core is staying active and tight even as you breathe through it. Limit the range of motion if needed. You got this. Three, two, one. Tap side to side. Other other side is next. We move the right leg. Let's go. Twist. Twist. Like you're pulling something towards that knee. Core stays tight and active. Three, two, and one. Just tap. We have a side shuffle, knee in, arms go overhead, but this time we add the external rotation. So your toe is going to come to that inner thigh or calf. Side shuffle, side shuffle, up, side shuffle, up, side shuffle, up. Get on that tippy toe if you can. If not, stay here. Everyone's range of motion is going to be different here. I'm going to my calf right now. You can come to that inner thigh if that's within your range. Honor your body. Honor what you can do today. Tap side to side. All right, y'all, we got this under five minutes. Next up, we tap one each side, sumo squat, heel raise, follow my lead, up, up, down, go up, down, go up, reach, reach, down, go up, reach, reach, down, go up. Think about keeping a rib cage stacked over pelvis to keep the core tight. You got this. Three, 
two, and tap side to side. Next up, we just play off what we just did. Sumo squat or second position, squat to calf raise. Down, go up and reach, down, go up and reach. Rip cage stays stacked over pelvis. Don't let that pelvis dip forward. Think about neutral, squeeze the calves. And one, tap side to side. Next up, we have ab twist. We'll bring left knee in. Every fourth rep, start to twist. Three, two, one, in. Three, two, one, in. Three, two, one, in. Feel the abs. Make this movement. Core strong. Just tap. Other side is next. Start to twist. On my lead. Three, two, one, in. One, tap side to side. Two exercises, y'all. This one, fast feet, in and out, in and out. Here we go, start in second position. Fast feet, it's in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in. Go out. You got this, if needed, you can slow it down. But if you got it, come on, stay with me. Last three, two, tap side to side. This is non-repeat, but we're doing fast feet again. Here's how it's non-repeat. Instead of a four count, it's a two count. Toe straight this time, out, two, in, two, out, two, in, two, get low. Let's pick it up, come off feet. Pick up that tempo, 10 seconds. Sumo squat pulses in three, two, and one. Pulse it out, come on, 15 seconds. Five seconds you hold, five, four, three, two, and one. Heels up, heels down. Heels up, heels down. Five seconds and you hold those heels up. And three, two, one, heels up, pulse it down. We end with an ISO hold. And five, 
four, three, two, just hold. 15 seconds. You'll stay up, come on. One inch lower. Hold it, 10 seconds. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Reach up and over. Wow, let's use the wall to assist. I know I said no equipment. You don't have to use the wall, it'd look like this. Let's kind of reach it up and over. I like using some assistance sometimes. Helps you get into the pose, the stretch a little bit deeper. And let's take it to the other side. Reach up and over. I'm so sweaty. A sweaty mess and it is like five degrees outside. And it's not very much warmer in here. Whew. All right, let's take it forward. One leg goes forward. Start to hinge from the hips. You'll feel a stretch along the hamstring down into the calf. And then you can start to take it a little bit more. When you're ready, come out of it. And if you can, if it's accessible, grab that foot. I definitely recommend a wall here. And let's take it to the other side. If you want more stretching, I will link some videos below. Check them out. They're beautiful, very focused too. If you want one for the hips, there's one for that. About 15 minutes low back, there's one for that. Let's take it to that quad stretch. If you want one for the mid upper back, one for that, balancing off a wall right now. Cause it's hard to balance after cardio. So have a wall around, have something stable. Maybe a nice sturdy child is right there with you. Make sure they can stand and with, withhold that. My oldest is eight years old, she, she could. My six year old, maybe not. You gotta make that call as a parent. I'm kidding, <laughs> I'm kidding, disclaimer, kidding. I said take it, I said, I, I didn't require Matt. So let's stay up here. But of course you can release that knee down if you have some, some sort of padded surface. Really just focus on squaring off the hips. So you're getting a deep stretch along the left hip flexor and then take that left arm up and over oh, for some good lengthening effect. Reach it forward and just start to twist. If you do have a mat, you can start to release that knee. That might feel good. If you don't, don't worry about it. All right, you ready to get fancy? We're gonna twist away from each other. Why doll, why doll, why legged ragdoll pose. Speech is also limited today because I'm coming off of a family uh, weekend little extravaganza in the snow. So if your mother sometimes vacations feel like work, very fun work, very fun work, but wow. Oh, I need a day, I need a day after, after that travel sometimes. Not all the time, sometimes. Reach it up and over. Add that little twist. And we'll do one more ragdoll pose. Sorry for the view. Sway side to side. Bring all swaying to a stop. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold a little bit more. Let the back grow long. And then roll up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, open, look up. Stretch the front of the delts. Inhale, up. Exhale, open. As long as you tried your best, that is what matters most. During any cardio workout, it's really about the intensity, the movement behind it. So you saw me sometimes kind of come up on my toes, put a little bit more oomph behind it. Other moves, I really had to focus and slow it down to get the balance. So whenever you wanna get that heart rate up, it's all about the intensity behind every single exercise. If you wanna focus on strength, slow it down. If you're just wanting to move today, Make it your own. You had three options during the recovery. You could attack, you could have pulsed, or you could have recovered. All excellent options, depending on what you want. Again, as long as you tried your best, that's what matters the most. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Your love and support means the absolute world to me. So thank you so much for working out with me. Be sure to tag me in your posts and stories on IG at Laurie Midkiff. And most importantly, I'm about to sell you something. Have an amazing rest of the day. I'm just kidding. I would never. <laughs>